show me at the perfect time. Sun's starting to go down, and I might be heading out herping soon. I know that there's this spot in Oregon, which is usually packed loaded with spring peepers. Which, when I'm there, I'll get more on a, more on about, and well, I'll head over there now. Come on, Junior. That's all. That's all. Okay, so lucky for you guys, I'm here to adapt at biking one and no handed. Here's a deer. You can see that. I can't switch camera views. There are a lot of these spiky balls that come from the trees. There the deer goes. Adios. But, anyways, you can hear that? We got spring peepers, baby. Okay, so more deer this spot in ordo i'm not going to disclose which but anyone from ordo or bridge knows exactly where i am goodbye dear this guy's standing me off nope three over there anyway you might not be able to hear me because of these so tonight there are a lot of spring peepers out Spring peepers are one of the set on my bike up. They're the ones that the frogs that breed earliest in the season. Another deer over there. They all deer come out at dusk as well. But all of these spring peepers come out at dusk and they start breeding. And these large these are semi-vernal pools, not fully vernal because well they're wet most of the year but they get dry up a little bit. But it's so loud here. I love the sound of spring peepers. And I'm gonna try and find some. When I do, I'll bring you guys back. And maybe if I get lucky, there'll be something else. If you notice, I also wanna say this. One's right over here. They sound a lot like an alarm. So that's kinda cool. So here, I'll show you the method how do you use to find these guys? I listen for them, and then I shine a light. So out here, there's not just spring peepers. If you hear that trill, that's a bird boy tree frog. I'm pretty sure. I could be wrong. But I'm pretty sure there are also cricket and bird's voice tree frogs around here. But these guys are so loud. So, what I do is I just shine a light close to the water's edge and look to see if I can see any frogs. I usually don't need use a net or anything. Here's some movement. I usually can just use my hands. But it's a lot easier when I'm quiet. So, They're also the weaker males and the females will be out towards the edge while the stronger males are fighting for a spot deeper in the pond and in this pond there are no fish so it's a great place for spawning but to say a little bit more facts about the spring peepers I gotta catch one first. Okay, once this fo focus. So, something in the woods. There goes a deer. So, over here, we have an Uplands Taurus frog or New Jersey frog. They're very similar species. They're both Taurus frogs. There's a deer, you can see the eyes. But these guys, yeah, I just spooked it. These guys are both chorus frogs. This guy is just the, there's the Uplands and the New Jersey. They're almost impossible to tell apart. So I just call them chorus frogs. These guys are very cool. Didn't care about me. 
but they come, they're very early breeders. So right when it gets warm, they come out and breed. They sometimes handle sub-freezing temperatures, yet they keep on going. These boys, as you can hear, are also very loud. They're calling to try and get the attention of a female. And while they might all sound similar to us, to a females, some of these guys sound pretty sexy. So this is amazing. Here we got a male. And you see that bubble? Oh, that's not his head. That's his throat. So if he lets me, she might just. I'm gonna put you guys here and hopefully he goes back and chirping. This is another let me check. Chorus rod. And there he goes. So this guy is calling for a little lady friend. Tonight. I've honestly got to say, her, your ears are a very valuable thing in herpin. And most people don't understand that. But that last frog is called, or I found, I didn't, I let him go. I found him by listening. But I also got to have good eyes. These are tiny little frogs. There we go. It's this little guy. Now, I love this time of year when the chorus frogs are out. Because that sound is like heaven to me. So, oh, here we go. Oh, oh that's a little... This guy. And now, back to sound. Oh no, that's it. And off he goes. Or she. Doesn't seem to be chirping, so it might be a female. Can you shut up a bit? Here we have another fine specimen of chorus frog who does not seem to mind me at all. I'm like two inches from him, and he's going crazy. But I really like his color. So I'm going to grab him for a few pictures, and then I'll be back. You know, it's really hard to take pictures without a flash house from me on. So I've resorted to keep videoing and taking photos like that. Because I'm on a phone. And you can do that. Now this guy is a little skinnier. So might be his first year. A little smaller. But definitely getting out there. Aw, little chirp. Yeah. He's not as sick. Not as good as the others. So, he's getting there. He's trying. He's giving it a little golf. He'll eventually get it. Might not get any females this year, but he's getting there. You know how often these guys can be right underneath you and you never see them? Here, I'm getting you a few photos of this guy as well. He was right here. I walked right by him. I only came back because he was chirping. And he looks pretty nice. So, I'm hoping you get a little action. Got a nice little chirp. All right, so here is another species of spider. I think another species of fishing spider. To be honest, I'm not that good at spider species. But this guy just looks really cool. I had to show him off for you guys. What's that color? It's like yellow. But I'm gonna keep looking. So here we have another green frog. Trying to do this without him being spooked. Or her. You can tell the difference in gender by the size of the ears. So you see this one? She has those ear, or not the ear drums to say. See that little circle behind her eyes? Because it's the same size as her eyes itself, you can tell it's a female. Okay, yeah, here actually, perfect timing. Uh, another female. They're about the same size as her eyes. That ear jump, she can see right there. She doesn't care about me. She's a little cold to be, Karen. But you can 
see that this is a little cute little female. Okay guys, I'm probably gonna head out. So I've been here for probably about an hour now. I just, it's so cool from all these, ah. And now it's starting to rain, great. But these frogs are just so cool to me. I love how early they come out to breed. It literally just started getting warm a few days ago and they're already out and Oh, so as I said before, I'm hoping to get a few more videos coming out. I'm hoping to do videos more often. And I'm also going to start releasing one to two videos a week. And if you guys want to stick around and watch, happy great. But I'm back at my bike, so I'm going to pack things up and leave the frogs for the night. I might come back another time, but for now, I'll stay home.